Auschwitz also started as a place to process political prisoners. Its existence was normalized in stages until eventually it turned into a death camp. When I toured Auschwitz as a Holocaust survivor and a guide, I was shocked at how close people's houses were to the camp. I thought the camp would be far away from the town on its own. That's generally what a camp means. But it wasn't. It was so close to civilian housing that people would complain about ashes in their laundry. We do not want ashes in our laundry. No one in America should have ashes in their laundry. Thank you again, everyone, for being here. I know it's really cold, <laughs> but we are here because it is important to raise attention and raise awareness to the fact that these facilities are being built now, and we have the potential to stop this before it becomes an actual processing unit, before we are part of the complicity that is processing folks in Warwick and in Wyatt, and continuing to detain people, um, no, it's not okay. Here are your next steps. There's a bit.ly here for information on what we are doing in the next coming months. If you are a part of our, or you subscribe to our emails, you will understand and, and be aware and be told on how we will be lobbying towards bills and things like that on how to make sure that ICE doesn't become more in Rhode Island. But it is the more important part is that you understand the next steps in our actions and our physical being and how we can be physically here to to create presence for the for this problem because we can write emails all we want and we can be present on social media and do all of that in our ways but if you're not here then we are not doing the best that we can to do to finish to abolish ice in rhode island so if you check out our next steps it will be around an action that we have set up in april that we need people for so your presence is so appreciated here today we we you'll need you again <laughs> in a couple of months so please check out our next steps is it's really crucial that like with more people this is actually we are actually able to to make to end ice here especially with process so, thank you again for being here and please check out our next step also we have a sign up sheet around here for the pen if you are not a part of our emails oh it's right here if you are not getting our emails with information and updates on our ice campaign please sign up so that you are aware of our next steps and our next actions. Thank you so much. We're going to do one last poem and then we're finished for today, but just for today. Thank you everybody for coming. It's been a, it's like a wonderful turnout. I'm so happy that we were able to get so many people in the middle of a pandemic. And I know that this issue is not as top of mind as it was a few years ago under the Trump administration, but the truth is that Biden is still deporting people, Biden is still incarcerating people, and we still need to fight to shut down the ICE machine. Um, one of the stories that people often talk about when we talk about shutting down the Wyatt detention facility in Central Falls is the story of Jason Ng, a man who went to an ICE office, much like an office that they're building here, to go and regularize his status because he, the ICE had sent him some mail that had gone to an address where he no longer lived. He ended up being incarcerated at that office and eventually transferred to the Wyatt Detention Facility where because of medical neglect and abuse, he ended up dying. So this is just one instance, this is just one local instance of how Institutions like this are part of a machine that is inhumane and that needs to be abolished. So, again, thank you everyone for coming and I think we're just gonna finish out with the Never Again song that we started with. Uh, apologies for my off piece singing, but the ancestors that are back and we Oh, God.
Thank you everybody so much for We'll be back. We'll be back.